Well, hello again, I'm Roger. I'm coming to you from Brick House Guitars in our showroom upstairs, and I have another incredible guitar to show you. Um, we are just so proud to be working with Hosen uh, Guitars of Singapore. Hosen has become a good friend to us, and you know, he is so passionate about what he does. So if you don't know Hosen, just a very brief, um, um, you know, resume about where he comes from. He studied in the USA uh, guitar voicing with Irvin Samoji, so his guitars are definitely influenced quite a bit by that school of thought. Uh, he is from Singapore, he has his custom shop there, and then his factory is actually in China. And he has a team of nine um, builders that work with him. Um, and they have been a team for many, many years now. And while his team of master builders are putting these beautiful guitars together, Hosen's job there uh, is mainly to voice them. So he spends an, a, a quite a bit of time on each guitar, individually master tuning, tapping, scalloping, every aspect of each guitar. So you're kind of getting the best of both worlds with Hosen. Uh, you're getting, you know, the, um, the advantage of a team and team building, which greatly reduces the cost of building, uh, and a master luthier who actually knows how to individually tweak and bring out the maximum tone in each guitar. Um, so uh, before we actually uh, show you the sound, let's get in a bit closer and go over some of these amazing details. And this is of course a blue label, and um, this is uh, the top on it is um, with the Swiss spruce and uh, the back and sides are rosewood. So let's just get into the top here. Beautiful straight grained Swiss spruce. And you can see here the rosette is beautiful segmented rosewood with maple. And then the rings actually have a uh, shell. And this is genuine shell. If you look closely enough, you'll see every little pit, every little piece here, uh, you know, is, is inlaid by hand. So it's not artificial. This was done literally by hand. And that same shell you found in the purfling around the contour of the entire top. Um, so, you know, it's discreet, but it's, you know, I use that sort of cliche a lot, discreet, but elegant. And this is absolutely that. You also find here in the fingerboard that same shell inlaid right all the way around. Um, so let's uh, turn the guitar over and uh, I'll try to avoid the light here. Um, and um, yeah, rosewood, you can see the grain here is beautifully um, straight grain. It's beautifully book matched. And the sides of course match beautifully. And this guitar has a lot of comfort features. So it actually has a wedge, which is, you know, we call the Linda Manzer wedge. And so then basically what happens is the shallowest part of the guitar is here and it gets progressively wider as it, it comes down to this part of the instrument. Um, along with the wedge for comfort, there's this beautiful bevel. This is ebony. And on to add to the comfort, this amazing chest bevel. And then to make it easier to hear what you're playing, there is the sound port. I love sound ports because you don't have to like be leaning over your guitar. All of your sound is coming straight to the player and that's amazing. Uh, I love that feature. Uh, you have ebony for the bridge, these beautiful pins with brass and shell inlay to match the purfling. You have bone. Uh, polished bone for the saddle and as you come up here this is a beautiful ebony fingerboard and you, another uh, bit of bone here for the nut and the nut width is actually 44 so that's just a little bit under one and three quarters and that combined with a very slim sort of C shape makes for an unbelievable you know it's extremely comfortable neck uh, and if you have smaller hands or you like just a little bit of slimmer spacing, 
Um, this is like the ultimate feel for that. Um, now we get to the headstock. This is the signature Hosen uh, logo. Ebony for the onlay. We flip it around. Rosewood that is on the back plate. And you can see here the tuners are Goto 510. And those are fantastic tuners. Uh, mahogany for the neck with a beautiful satin finish and you have um, a strip of ebony down the center and then two carbon fiber rods that also follow the uh, the bilateral um, truss rod so fit and finish just lovely and uh, you know it's a showpiece guitar um, some of the elements you can't see uh, because it's inside the guitar um, that are unique to this particular instrument. Um, well, it has a double wall with solid lining, and that makes for an incredibly stiff um, uh, sides or rim. And But I guess the most unique feature on this particular instrument is a bracing that he calls Falcate, and I believe that was designed by someone in Australia. And so it's kind of like a modified X. Uh, it's like two wings almost that come around. And... Um, it allows for maximum control of, of tuning. Uh, so when I do play this guitar, you'll be able to hear how controlled and powerful um, every single note is. And of course, sweetness of overtones. So I think that would be a good point to actually segue into, well, indeed, let's listen to this guitar and see how it sounds. Okay, well, wow. Um, now let's move on and see how this guitar sounds and I'm confident you won't be disappointed. Uh, I certainly am not. Um, the combination of rosewood with alpine spruce, of course, that's always, you know, a winning uh, starting point. You got that robust rosewood, you've got the sweetness and the power and control of alpine spruce. Uh, in the hands of a luthier like Hosen who can really, you know, master tune the instrument, um, it's quite amazing and you know one of the things that I find with Hosen's guitars is just how responsive they are and that's the whole goal and what he basically learned from Irvin Samoji is you want a guitar that if I just touch it you know it's going to sing out I have it tuned in Dadgad right now and um, let me see here I can play some single notes just quietly to start give you a really good idea of how just melodic how beautiful the music can be uh, with this guitar now of course you can enjoy it as well it would because it's spruce and rosewood it can you play your traditional Americana music on it so it'll be very very versatile and so now what I'll do is I'll tune it up to standard tuning and do my standard demo for you and uh, invite you to give us a call if you have any interest in this guitar um, thank you
Well, there you go. That's quite a guitar, isn't it? Cheers, everyone.